In this animation, we'll be looking at the process of cells pricing for group 2 introns. Now consider this as the RNA of eukaryotic cell. And in this case, this, green, this blue colored section here is, are the exons and this yellow colored section in between are the introns. And we know that after this splicing process, the ultimate goal is to attach the exon parts and cleave the intron parts away. And the very important structure here is to have the sequence what is called here this red or pink color region which contains one adenine. Now this adenine is very very important because this is the terminal or branch point adenine which has a 3 prime hydroxyl popping out. Now that sorry the 2 prime hydroxyl popping out. That 2 prime hydroxyl coming from this adenine in this branch point helps them to establish the first cell catalyzed reaction. It's called self splicing because this whole reaction is self catalyzed. And the very beginning, this is the 5 prime end and this is the 3 prime end of the RNA. So let's talk about it. So what happens actually, they will associate this RNA and reform this RNA structure in such a way so that they loop, they form a loop and the branch point here, the 5 prime terminal part will associate very close to the branch point or A. Now this branch point adenine using the 2 prime hydroxyl will attack this terminal part and it will cleave that end of the exon and the exon is now away. Now as the exon is cut out there comes the 3 prime hydroxyl free to react. Now the 3 prime hydroxyl that is present in the exon acts like a nucleophilic attack onto the other exon intron terminal and they will join with each other by ligation and after that what it forms is an RNA properly functional and then 